Goeiedag en baie welkom by Jevrou Marks se virtuele klaskamer. Ek hoop dat jy elke oomlik van jou rest na week geniet het. I certainly hope you enjoyed every moment of this amazing weekend you just had. Cuz this week we're going to kick our work into a higher gear. Onthou jy nog van die woordspeletjie wat ons speel? Do you still remember about the word game we're playing? Evers in hierdie video is daar 'n letter weggesteek. Somewhere in this video, you will find a hidden letter. Here is your third letter. This will be your third letter. Be sure to be on the lookout for this letter. Vandaag is maandag. Today is Monday. The date is 6 April 2020. The date is the 6th of April 2020. Look out by the fenster. Could you take a peek outside your window? Skyn die son? Do you see the sun shining? Is dit gedeeltelik bewolk? Is it partly cloudy? Dalk reen dit. Does it rain? Of dalk is daar een groot donderstorm? Maybe there's a thunderstorm outside. Die seisoen is herfs. The season is autumn. Kan jy nog jou seisoene onthou? Summer, summer, herfs, autumn, winter, winter, in lente, spring. Kan jy nog die maande van die jaar onthou? Januari, februari, maart, april, mei, juni, juli, augustus, september, oktober, november, December. Jy kan gerust luister na die maande van die jaar kletsruim video wat ek met jou gaan deel. Do yourself a favor and listen to the months of the year rap video that I will share with you in the description below. It's quite a treat. Kom ons oefen die alfabet en vokaal klanke. Kan jy nog die handtekens onthou? Can you still remember the hand signals we use? A, E, E, O, N, E. Onthou ook die F vir fiets en die F vir vis. As ook die I vir ijs. Kom ons sê dit saam. A, B, C, D, D, E, F, G. H, A, Y, K, L, M, N, O, P, K, R, S, T, O, F, V, X, I, N, Z, O, I, U, U, I, I, U, O, U, O, I, I, O, I, U, I, in U. Luister gerust na die ABC kletsruim video wat ek met jou gaan deel. You're welcome to listen to the ABC rap video I'm going to be sharing with you in the description below. It's definitely worth watching. Kom ons loer na vandagse spelwoorde. Vandagse spelwoorde het een ei-klank. Maar onthou, daar is twee ei-klanke in Afrikaans. Kom ons loer gauw na die twee ei-klanke. Ei, soos in trein, en ei vir eis. Vandagse spelklank is ei vir trein. Kom ons loer gauw na die spelwoorde. Vleis, En let op, dis hierdie f vir vleis. Niet. Trein, train. Eina. Ouch. Mei. Die maand mei. Sein. Signal. Brein. Brain. Klein, which can mean small or little. Veilig or safe, the verb. Reis. Which can mean travel if it's a verb or journey if it's a noun. In lastens, brei, which is net. 
om daar my sinnekie in jou huiswerkboek te maak met elkeen van die 10 spelwoorde. Skryf ook hierdie spelwoorde in jou persoonlijke woordeboek. Remember to make a sentence with each of these 10 spelling words in your homework book. Also, remember to add these 10 spelling words to your personal dictionary. Hoe gebruik ek my persoonlijke woordeboek? How do I use my personal dictionary? Kom ons gebruik een voorbeeld. Let's use an example. Veilig beteken safe, the verb, in Engels. Step 1. Go to the S tab for safe in your personal dictionary. Step 2. Write the word safe, verb, and next to it Afrikaans meaning veilig. Step 3. It will look like this. Under the S tab, safe, in brackets, verb, and next to it Afrikaans, veilig. Kom ons loer weer na meervoude en verkleining. Hierdie is deel 5. Let's take a peek at plurals and demotives one more time. This is part 5. Kan jy hierdie vier spelwoorde in die meervoud skryf? Jy sal onthou dat woorde met die ei klankie soos in trein Net a gewone kostpakkie sal bykry as jy in meervoud sit. You remember the third rule about making plurals. If a word has a vowel sound such as the A in train, then we just give them extra kosties, extra food packet. Now I've upgraded from special K bars to hamburgers. I think soldiers deserve hamburgers instead of special K calorie restricted bars. Let's have a look. Vleis, trein, brein en reis. The journey. Kom ons sit net een extra kostpakkie by vir hierdie soldate. Let's give extra food to the brave sick soldiers who can't go off to the war to fight. Who like die meervoude? Kom ons kyk. Het jy dit recht geskryf? Vleis, vleise, trein, Treine, brein, breine en reis, reise. Kan jy vleis en reis in die verkleining skryf? Hierdie een is baie makkelijk. Omdat dit die verkleining is, kan jy ons klein soldaikies een ietsie pietsie extra kosie. Kom ons kyk hoe lyk dit. Ietsie pietsie extra kosie maak een i klankie. Kan jy die woorde in die verkleining skryf? Hier is die antwoorde. Kom ons kyk of jy dit reg geskryf het. Vleis, vleisie, reis, reisie. Kom ons kyk na kwartal 2 se mondeling. Onthou, hier die mondeling is onvoorbereid. Jy gaan een onderwerp kry om oor te praat maar het net een minuut om voor te berei. This oral is completely unprepared. You will be assigned a random topic for which you will only have one minute to prepare for. Kom ons oefen vandag se mondelinge onderwerp. Let's look at today's practice run. My ginsteling sport. My favorite sport. Wat is jou ginsteling sportsoort? What is your favorite sport? Vraag 2. Neem jy self deel aan die sportsoort of kyk jy net daarna? Do you participate in the sport or do you just enjoy watching it? Next question, volgende vraag. Wanneer het jy aan hier die sport begin deelneem? When did you start participating in the sport? Wat is die reels? Explain the rules. Het jy sporttoeristing nodig? Do you need any equipment to participate in the sport? Hoe wen die span of die deelnemer? How does the team or participant win? What's the goal or objective of the game? En laatstens, waarom is hier die sportsoort jou ginsteling sport? Why is this sport your absolute favorite? Right, I will be sharing with you 
Some fond memories I treasure about the sport I participated in between the ages of 11 and 17. I grew up in a small town called Mokobane in the Limpopo province. It was so small. There was one spur, one wimpy and one high school. I was in grade 6 when we relocated to Mokobane and something dreadful happened. My beloved cat disappeared. I was heartbroken. Here I was, a new kid, in a new school, and my pet goes missing. One Thursday night, my father told me he has a big surprise for me. He literally dragged me off to see whether I would be interested in participating in the sport. I think he was trying to make me feel better about the loss of my beloved pet. It is not tennis, netball, hockey, or any other everyday activity. Well, let's see what it is. Well, here it is. It's called fencing. You are seeing two Olympic athletes in action at the Olympic Games. You can see the interesting gear they are wearing. They have masks and special protective clothing as well as some electronics and uh, that's wireless and interesting um, weapons as you might see. I was aged 12 when I joined the fencing club. This club's name is Ira Sabel, which literally means carrying a sword with honor. Here's a photo of me aged 12, 13. There was taken at the fencing club. Well, if you want to see a young Miss Marx with uh, her fellow fencers um, in 1997, here we go. Here are some fencers that were part of the club at the time I joined. Can you spot the 13-year-old Miss Marx? The red arrow points to me, the blue arrow points to my younger brother, and the yellow arrow points to my younger sister. Yep, all three, the Marxa, took part in fencing. Now that you've seen a little bit about my past history, let's go have a look at the sport itself. It's very fascinating. Well, I just love the saying on this t-shirt, I'm a fencer and what's your superpower? Well, there's mainly three types of weapons. My favorite was fencing with a foil, which is the middle weapon. The third picture shows the different target areas when you fight with each of those weapons. I really miss fencing so, so much. I really am passionate about fencing. Up until this day, I enjoy watching it. It's very fast and you have to have very quick reflexes. I bet that you are just as passionate about your preferred sport. Here are some words that you might find helpful when speaking about your favorite sport. Soccerveld, soccer field. Mond scarum, mouth guard. Kose, socks, hardklopskoene, running shoes, pal, pool, doel, goal, doelhok, goal post, tennis racket, tennis racket, tennis baan, tennis court, netball baan, netball field, netball ring, netball ring, swimbad, Swimming pool, swim pet, swimming cap, swim costume, swim costume, skark board, chess board, skark stukke, chess pieces, skark horloosi, chess clock, in wedstrijd match. There are most certainly words that are very specific to the type of sport that you participate in. Please feel free to make use of those words. You know what a great idea would be? If you could add these words to your personal dictionary to help you remember them more easily. You might recall that we took a look at intensive forms just last week. However, I'd like to revise it one more time. Weet jy wat is die intensive vorm van oud? Weet jy wat is die intensive vorm van duur? As we koud? Kom ons kyk na die antwoorde. Oud, sy intensive vorm is stok oud. Duur, sy intensive vorm is peperduur. 
en koud sy intensieve vorm is ijskoud. Kan jij nog die intensieve vorm omdou verwarm? Rooi, kijk naar die prentjies, verleidrode. Let's have a look at the answers. Vuur warm, bloed rooi, bloed jonk. Kan jy nog die intensieve vorm omdou groen en soet? Jy sal sien ek het nog een soet bijgezet. Die antwoorde is gras groen, suiker soet, as ook stroop soet. Verlede week het ons ook na vergelijkings geloor. Kan jy nog onthou wat is een vergelijking in Engels? Een vergelijking in Engels is een simile. Let's revise what a simile is. Similes are when two things are compared using the words like or as. Like or as are the two words that you should be on the lookout for. They will tip you off that you are working with a simile. Verlede week het ons na een likkie geluister oor vergelijkings. Kan jy nog hierdie likkie onthou? Kom ons luister saam vir die 13 vergelijkings in hierdie likkie. Ek so stil soos een muis. Ek so sterk soos een beers. Alma, waar is jou oorings? Ek so siek soos een hond. Moet my nie die lik nie. Ek so stadig soos een skuldpaar. Ek hou jou dood. Nou is ek so vinnig soos blits. Bedoel jy donner weer? Ek so lig soos een vee. Ek gaan jou vat in die matkie. Ek so geel soos een milie. Ek so soet soos een stroop. Ek so oud soos die baard. Ek so reg op soos een taars. Ek so dood soos een mossie. Sies man, moet my nie los die. Haha, net een grappie. Die alle grappies op een stokkie. Jy is soos jy. En ek is soos akke. Vry soos voel ons belekker soos een krakker. Kom ons kyk of jy die vergelijkings nog kan onthou. So stil soos een. So sterk soos een. So siek soos een en so stadig soos een. Skryf nou jou antwoorde neer. Kom ons loer na die antwoorde. So stil soos een muis. So sterk soos een pees. So siek soos een hond. So stadig soos een skulpad. Kan jy nog hierdie vier onthou? So vinnig soos een. So licht soos een, so geel soos een, en so soet soos wat. Skyf al gevinnig nou jou antwoorde neer. Kom ons kyk of jy die antwoorde reg het. So vinnig soos blits, so licht soos een veer, so geel soos een milie, so soet soos stroop. Die volgende veer, Sê so oud soos die, so reg op soos a, so dood soos a, en so vry soos wat. Skryf nou jou antwoorde neer. Kom ons loer na die antwoorde. So oud soos die berge, so reg op soos a kers, so dood soos a mossie, so vry soos voels. En die laaste ene, so lekker soos a krakker. Afrikaans is so lekker soos a krakker. Reg, ons gaan na iets loer wat ons stompie noem. Stompie, wat een interessante naam. Stompie is van nou af jou beste maaikie in Afrikaans. Stompie has just been dubbed your best friend in Afrikaans. Nou wie of wat is Stompie? Stompie is een acroniem. Stompie is een acronym. Dit beteken dat elke letter in die woordkie Stompie staan vir iets. It means that each letter in the acronym Stompie stands for something. Stompie gaan jou Afrikaans beter maak. Understanding Stompie well will improve your Afrikaans and your marks. Jy gaan stompie tot in matriek doen. You're going to be dealing with stompie up until matriek. Stompie is baie makkelijk. Stompie is really not very difficult to understand. It's actually quite easy. 
Kom ek vertel jylle meer van Stompie. Daar is Stompie. Boon jou skerm sien jy S, a V1, a T, a O, a M, a P, a V2 en a E. On top of the screen you will see an S, V1, T, O, M, P, V2 and I. Now if you leave the V's out, you'll notice that S, T, O, M, P, I spells stompy. Let me explain what each letter means. This stands for subject. V1, verb 1, T, time, O, object, M, manner, P, place, V2, verb 2, and I, the infinitive. You will use Stompy each and every time you write a sentence in Afrikaans. Stompy help ons om elke deelkie van a sinnekie in die rechte volgorde te skryf. Stompy assists us in placing each part of the sentence in the correct order. Kom ons kyk na voorbeeld. Let's look at an example. The example on this slide is very extensive. Please do not start stressing. Ons gaan begin met die makkelijkste sinnekie. We gaan start with the easiest sentence. Hier die sinnekie gaan a subject, a verb en a object he. This sentence will only have three elements. Subject, verb and object. Let's have a look. We will only be using the subject, verb 1 and the object. Just a very important observation. You'll see there's a verb 1 and a verb 2. When we write a sentence in the present tense, we will be using verb 1 exclusively. When you write a sentence in the past or future, you will make use of verb 2. For starters, we are going to focus on a present tense sentence. The subject asks who or what do you see in? verb one because it's a present tense sentence we will have scop which means to kick it's the doen woordkie it's the action word and dan het ons die object die sokkerbal hier the object will also ask who or what so this is a very very easy sentence die sien scop the soccer ball. The boy kicks the soccer ball. This sentence is very basic as it only comprises of a subject, a verb and an object. Let's look at three examples where the subject, the object and the verb are scrambled. Let's keep Stompy in mind. Number 1. Eat. Die kos. A kat. Kan jy hier die dele van die sin in die rechte volgorde skryf? Can you arrange the verb, the subject and the object in the correct order? Nummer 2. A medalje die kind wen. Once again, can you put the verb, the subject and the object in the correct order? Nummer 3. Op die rekenaar speel Die sien. It's just my cat looking in on me. Go, go, cat. Please pause this video and try this activity by yourself. It is imperative that you try this first before looking at the answers. Mastering Stompy will guarantee you success in Afrikaans. Let's look at the answers. Number 1. A cut is the subject. Eat is your verb and object die kos. Number 1. A cut eat die kos. Wie a cut? Wat doen hy? Hy eet of sy eet. En wat die kos? Number 2. Die kind is the subject. Wen, verb 1. En a medalje. A object. The child wins a medal. Die kind, wie, wen, what's happening, what's the action, 
en object wat, die kind wen een medaille, who won what. Nummer 3, die sien speel op die rekenaar. Die sien is jou subject, speel is jou verb, en op die rekenaar aan de computer is jou object. This boy plays on his computer. Ek hoop dat jy hierdie drie voorbeelde reg gekry het. I certainly hope that you managed to get the correct answers. Probeer nou hier die vraagies op jou eie. Try these sentences on your own. Nummer 1. Wens vir sy een nieuwe cellfoon. Can you identify the subject, the verb and the object? Nummer 2. Gofa Soccer oefen. Once again, can you identify the subject? Who? The verb? What is happening? And the object? The what? En nummer 3. Splinter nieuwe skoene koop katlego. Can you identify the subject? Secondly, the verb and then the object? Ek gaan hierdie antwoorde eers more vir jou gee. Probeer hierdie op jou eie. I will only be giving you the answers in tomorrow's video. I really need you to try this by yourself at home. Having a firm understanding of Stompy and the basics for today is crucial to understand tomorrow's work when we're going to be adding a time word the T in Stompy. And the challenge of adding the T word in the correct place all depends on your understanding of the Stompy acronym. Wat is hier die? Dit lyk like vir my soos die derde letter in ons letterspieliekie. What is this? It certainly looks like the third letter in the letter game we are playing. Onthou om al die letters by mekaar te maak. Remember to collect all the hidden letters in each video. Onthou, die letters spel een Afrikaanse woord. Remember, the letters spel een Afrikaans woord. Die letters is dier mekaar. The letters are jumbled. I will tell you when the game's up and you can start on scrambling letters to form the mystery Afrikaans word. Ek hoop dat jy vandag sy video sommer baie geniet het. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I want to leave you with this. Onthou, remember, jy is a winner. You are a winner. Jy is die beste. You're the best. I'm so proud of you. Ek is so trots op jou. Ek is so trots op jou. Want jy kyk hierdie video en werk hard om jou Afrikaans te verbeter. I'm so proud of you because you're watching this video and you're putting in the work to improve your Afrikaans. Sien jou more. See you tomorrow. Tot ziens.